Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. What the fuck? This week we're reviewing your mum. That'd be out of order. Maximum Overdrive is the only film to be directed by Stephen King. When asked why he hadn't directed again, King reportedly said, watch Maximum Overdrive. So this is a little like shooting fish in a barrel, but that's never stopped us before. You unbelievable shithead. As Earth passes through the tail of a comet, machines all over the planet become self-aware, violent, rude, and surprisingly irreligious. Trapped in a roadside truck stop, a group of travelers struggle to stay alive. The whole goddamn world's going tits up. Yes. And then again, no. Are you on something? Obviously, there's a lot of people killed by machines. Vending machines. <laughs> video games. <laughs> hair dryers. He dead right, Bubba. <laughs> but the film seems to pick and choose. Yeah. Vehicles have a mind of their own. Quick! Into the car! Girl, you going crazy or something? But actually, they're fine. For no apparent reason, some cars remain loyal. That's wrong. I never heard no talk like that when I was a boy. This one gets used by the other cars as a battering ram. <laughs> Radios are similarly inconsistent. Well, this thing was working just fine. They don't work. Reports of strange occurrences. Until they needed to get the plot across. Yeah, that's true. What about wristwatches? What about all the kitchen appliances in the diner? Aren't they electric? Ah! Oh, but his bike is. Can't you see we've got a situation here? It's as if the filmmakers knew it didn't add up, but decided to press on anyway, because what we really care about is the subtly depicted motivations of the characters. I hate those fucking tracks. And their interpersonal relationships. You sure make love like a hero. Yeah, they met about an hour ago. Is he now grooming her? Fuck if I know, Bubba. And that's not the only thing that doesn't add up. <laughs> the trucks circle the building, trapping the unlucky folk within. <laughs> then other people break in. <laughs> This kid reverse Shawshanks his way in. Holy shit. Andy Dufresne didn't crawl through half a mile of shit-smelling foulness to get into the fucking prison. You know what gets to me is the stupidity. And once there, the trucks force people to refuel them. It's not a good idea. It's like Neville Chamberlain giving in to the Nazis. How is it remotely like that? You want a war? And, come to think of it, where was your country in 1938? Eat my shorts. Speaking of which, isn't it nice to hear Lisa Simpson swearing like a trooper? Oh shit, I'm sick of this shit, you goddamn asshole! What's really baffling, considering what King's day job is, is how badly written this is. That's what I was doing before every machine in the world went into maximum overdrive. Well, that doesn't seem forced at all. And you, sir, are without a doubt one of the biggest fuckheads I've ever met in my life. The victims need some sort of haven from the machines. Oh, I'm thinking about this place called Haven. Well, the name sounds ideal. Now, it's an island about, oh, about six miles off the coast. And there aren't any motor vehicles allowed on the place, none whatsoever. How convenient. I certainly buy the Almish Island as an entirely plausible plot point. You are a genius. Mm. Although, frankly, it seems like gritty realism next to the hastily tacked on explanation. Imagine you're a, you're a race of aliens, right? And, you're looking for a new place to live. Turns out it's aliens. You got that fuck face? If you've got a film you'd like us to review, leave a comment below. Click here to subscribe, here to see more reviews, or if you'd like to see our latest top ten, click down there. Yeah.